getting the unvaccinated among the elderly to go for their COVID-19 jabs. Some constituencies are set to ramp up such efforts as authorities call for a bigger push to inoculate more seniors. One professor says this may require going the extra mile to reach out to them personally. Neil Rongbi reports. From chartering buses to deploying mobile vaccination teams, it's how this constituency has been reaching out to the elderly residents to get them to go for their jab. It's now looking to take it a step further. We would like to leverage the networks of our seniors within the community to see how we can you know, get their help to share their own experiences uh, and the importance of vaccination as a, as a very important protection against COVID-19 uh, with their peers. In Singapore, just over 70% of those aged above 70 have got their first dose or booked their slots. In contrast, almost all other age groups have reported more than 80%. To push up the number, Tanjong Paga GRC MP Joan Pereira is looking to take volunteer doctors on door-to-door -door visits to address any doubts that elderly residents have. She adds that more seniors in her constituency are starting to see the importance of being vaccinated after the emergence of clusters in the area. One social service agency says this has also changed mindsets among some seniors. There's a clear sense of urgency on their part to get vaccinated because COVID has hit their stomping ground. The wet markets, the hawker centres and even the local grocery shops. Where else can they go to avoid COVID? Before that, they thought that they could avoid COVID as long as they limited their contact, stay in their neighbourhoods, don't go to the malls, don't travel afar, they are safe. Now it's hit close to them. A recent study by SMU's Centre for Research on Successful Ageing has shown that a fear of side effects is one of the main reasons holding seniors back. It's suggesting a more personal approach, like going to their homes to share with them more information on the coronavirus. They are fairly social isolated because many of them live alone or with you know very few members in the household. Then secondly, with social restrictions in place, right, uh, social distancing measures, they are also not encouraged to hang out anymore as much. Uh, so they become even more isolated, right? So therefore, very hard then for us to dispel the myths and the falsehoods that are circulating. She also suggests deploying more ambassadors in places which these seniors frequent, like hawker centres, or providing incentives for them to get their jabs.